This must be the saddle bomb that damn run off our deer. Well, well be. You do that? You run off our deer? Only deer's been through here past that way. About an hour ago, I reckon. You calling me a damn liar? I ain't one to judge a man before I've had a chance to meet him. Wave McCurry. Archie Ainsworth. He ain't apologized for the deer. That there's my brother Ben. We're out of Georgia. Where do you hail from, Wade? Cheyenne. And for that? Texas, originally. Pleasure's all mine. And you reckon your brother might lower his sidearm? You ain't gonna shoot a fellow southerner, are you, Ben? Who it's Texans? You know, at the side of them, them damn Yankees just throw down their guns, run like the wind. You should have seen them at Chickamauga, yellow belly cowards, the whole damn lot. Running don't make a man a coward. Who'd you serve under? Was it Hood? What are your boys doing now? We're heading west. I heard there's a strike. Out of... Shut your trap. They ain't got no interest in mining. That's like saying you ain't got no interest in making it rich. Can't rightly say I do. Fact is, I'm trying my hand at farming. <laughs> Farmer. I don't look like no farmer either, so. That's on account of being Deputy Cheyenne the last two years. Well, Deputy, you ain't said who you served under. I thought. Hold it there, Ben. We're keeping company with the deserter. I thought. Under Taylor, then? Not under Taylor. Not under Smith, Hector, or Hood, neither. I served under the command of General Thomas. Don't know no General Thomas. Thought you boys said you were Chickamauga. Yankee traitor. Don't. I gotta go for it, Judge. Promise me, next time a self-respecting Southerner asks you who you served under... I ain't no traitor. Next time, you ought to lie. Ain't no liar, neither. Yeah, just because you made peace with your past don't mean the world has. world I damn well cooled off already. I got to go for a judge or not. Nah. Seems like a fair fight to me. I'll just have Stovetop Charlie bring his Chinaman over. Yep. You're going to be pig food. Yes, you are, you secesh dirt. Wade, seeing as how you ain't been around lately. By the by, way May Todd's been talking, sounds though she's aiming to make a respectable man out of you. Thank you kindly if you dispose of that for me. Joe McCurry, your paw. I reckon that depends on which one of us you're asking. Don't you think you ought to read the thing? Ain't as though he read any of mine. That's your family. No. 
This man said he'd shoot me if I ever came back to him. This is why we have horses in the first place. Can't ride them all day. Just give me a gosh darn minute. Shit. Starting to have second thoughts where you're gonna be all right without me. Hell, Wade, you were my deputy. It ain't like we're kin. I ain't your responsibility. I told you to quit about the damn letter. My boy's hiding down in Mexico on account of a killing over a girl. That's a hanging offense. And yet a day don't go by where me and Janie don't think on him. Because that's the thing about blood, Wade. Ain't nothing in this world can truly break it. Come on. He really threatened to shoot you. <laughs> Ain't home now, Emma. Well, did it ever occur to you that he just might have changed his mind? Know is this world around us and the people who inhabit it. We trust your grace and love to. This ain't no saloon, hey? Fine sermon, Reverend. Sure is. Ain't for his ears, though. There ain't no kind words ever escaped your father's lips about that fella. We are here to remember the dead, not dishonor them by brawling on their grave. Well, this here greedy carpet bag and son of a bitch is a doing your family the damn dishonor. Now, you know, I would never do Joe no disrespect, but it ain't right. It'd be fine if you come stand by hicking me. Paul would have wanted it that way, I think. You mean that? He lost you cards more times than he could count. Still, he kept on coming back. Well, you think you and Hick might Maybe want to come and visit a lonely old man one of these days? You sing with me? Shall we gather at the river Where broad angel feet have trod With its crystal tide forever Flowing by the throne of God Sister Lane. My apologies for the trouble my presence has caused. As far as meetings with Three Penny Henko, I'd say yours wasn't all that bad. That's not a begrudge, man, in mourning. You and your father are very close. Well, ain't nobody else could stand either of them. Well. My thanks to you for allowing me to be in attendance. I've come to understand a man sitting across the negotiating table. And your father was as fine as he was hard-headed. Well, perhaps one day soon, you will get to know us that well. Is that a fact? Not my father, Mr. Lane. Well, you certainly are not. I do imagine you have an asking price. 
it's too late. You need to pay respects to my father. Business will be conducted at the proper time. We appreciate your support in this hard moment. The lady said her goodbyes. Well, do let her know I'll be back in a month's time with a bill of sale. Well, I do think Martha aims to be done with this place a bit sooner than that. Tell me, Mr. Kirkland, you ever traveled to Lawrence, Kansas? They were ridden through. Well, here it used to be beautiful. Especially by firelight. Be a pleasure doing business with you. Damn mule got in the loco weed again. Had to put it down. Needed to be done. Lane ain't by today. No come. A few weeks is what he said. You gotta eat. I like how much you like my food. You thought on the food we'll have in San Francisco? Well, uh, I heard good night took another herd up to Kansas. It could be. Cows aren't no better than crops. We're opening a hotel. I am exactly the hotel type. You weren't exactly the farming type either. It'll be a grand place. Grandest in San Francisco. With large green tracks, a polished wood entrance, children running all through. Lane's coming. That ain't Lane.
Do we have to? Stay in the house. McCurry place? Who's asking? I ain't angling for a fight. Folks don't ride out this way unless they're angling for something. Be obliged if I could water my horse. I've been riding hard these last days. Business with the McCurries. Ain't you hurt? Joe McCurry's dead. I heard. Mary about James and Billy. Dead too. Dead. No, they ain't. See for yourself. Stranger? All of them. If you want to water your horses, be on your way. It's fine by me. Stay inside. I'll be gone soon. Okay, ask him how he knows a Billy. Thank you kindly. I was wondering if a... Martha? How'd you do so much growing? It's Wade. Your brother. Right on out of here right now, mister. It's been a while, I know. But it's me. Sure as a gun. What you did. He's killed my horse ten years past on his way to war. You still got that scar from the fever? One right inside your arm? The trip was supposed to take four days, but I had to ride six straight on account of the weather. If I hadn't been delayed, it would never try to bleed you. Wait. I ain't dead, little sunshine. Wade here comes bursting through, half his face white with cream, other smooth as a baby's bottom, and me, I'm standing there covered in mud and dirt, sobbing like the little girl I was. It must have taken you a good hour to wipe all that dirt off of me. And that the last time you saw each other? I'm looking at her now. About night Wade left for the war. Any youngins? 
This ain't no place to raise a child. Sure is a fine piece of land, though. Fine with fresh eyes, I'd imagine. And how come it is this is the first years you're seeing it? Your question. What's that? It's a letter. Would you ever imagine your baby sister be reading and writing? <laughs> this is from Paul. It is with much worry that I seek myself to pin you. How this gets so burnt? It's legible. Things do not stand well between us. I make no apologies and I write you now only because I see nowhere else. You are always the responsible one and I beseech you now to be responsible for the family when did you get this? Two weeks past. Joe's been in the ground a month. Yeah. We've been living for these past years on a homestead. And, and I beseech you, watch over the family, for if you are reading these words, that that I am killed. What are you aiming to do here, mister? I reckon you did. Are you taking leave of me? Wasn't my intent to cause you pain. How do you die? He was thrown by a horse. Something bothering you? You can tell me. That's strange is all. Seems how we thought you did. Why you reckon Joe wrote me that letter? I'd rather know what it is you're wanting. I prefer not to sleep in Joe's room. And that's all right with you. Well, I do believe we could do something about that. Speak on it now. We will do no such thing, Head Kirkland. You are tight. We'll say nothing on it till you've regained your moral character. Mr. Bunny Hank sent that letter, sure as spit. Don't I know it? Wayne will kill you if he finds out what you've done. It's my brother. Joe was your father. 
he's in a better place now. Way braced me. Oh, Paul ever did. I'd have run him off. What if I don't want that? You put it to him? There ain't nothing that keeps a man away for coming on 10 years. Of course there's a reason. Maybe you ought to find out what it is. Maybe while you're thinking on it, you gotta ask yourself, why'd a father declare his son dead? Martha believes I'll make a better husband without it. Best not argue then. Pinfire, ain't it? Federal law took it off. Claimed he got it from Jeb Stewart his cell. I reckon he didn't part with it easily. No man would. Good talk. Where you been these last years? I ain't one for repeating myself. Being a deputy in Cheyenne. I'm a farmer now. That still don't explain why you ain't never come through. Maybe you ought to ask Joe. But I guess you missed your opportunity for that. You do anything that's gonna hurt her, there won't be no conversation next time. Stole the words right out of my mouth. Face your responsibility. Got that talking to as well? This day I don't know if we deserved it or if Ma just plain enjoy giving it. <laughs> I don't mean to be out of line, but isn't this a husband's responsibility? Look at where we live. More chores and people around here. How'd you two start courting? I wouldn't exactly call it courting. Heck, you're not looking for work at Three Penny Hank's place. He found his way over here. Three Penny Hank. It's just a fool whoremonger. Heck's a good man. He would never do me no harm. A man who carries a gun like that. He has a certain kind of past. You help me with something? Who Joe Barry in my stead? Nobody. I thought I'd use this week. Wade is alive and well. Guessing you probably knew that, seeing as he's not up there with you, but right now he's standing right here next to me. He's been living up in the Wyoming Territory, where he used to be a deputy sheriff. He's not married yet, but not for lack of interested women, I'm sure. And I'm hoping that he was staying here with me and Hale. Is there anything you'd like to say? Howdy. Would have been nice to see y'all. 
alive, I mean. He's back from the war. Not for you. Not for Jamie. Not for Billy. Ma is actually buried here. As Paul. Of course. week after the war. The doc said he didn't know why, but he was on the count of losing her boys. Sure as the day is long. Pa, he, he moved us out here thinking maybe a fresh start might help. But... In this place, it killed her slowly. James, Signed on soon after Pa told us you died. All the boys in town did. Whole town was so proud, mightily so. Then came Sharpsburg. None came back. Not a one. And more left. This time Billy signed on. He lost a leg at Chickamauga. Billy died of infection on his journey home. There's something wrong with the way they healed his leg. Every boy between the age of 13 and 34 out of old Grand Ridge, Texas, gave their life fighting them damn Federals. Except you. I fought. Not with the first Texas. I was injured early on. When I was fit for duty, I was reorganized into a convalescent regiment. Was it bad? I ended up in a hospital. If you want to call it that. I was lucky to survive. That's a fact. Let the past lie, little sunshine. It's the here and now. What's he done to make you trust me? 
still hanging on to that damn letter, for one. That damn letter brought way home to me. Why don't you just focus on killing us and help? A couple of pheasants just won't do. Look, family don't turn against each other without reason. Was Paul took the cell and faulty tools to pass in miners. Wasn't too much of a surprise when one party came back looking for a refund. I thought he'd have none of it, but Wade, you getting their money back? All of it? He did so knowing full well the beating he'd be taken for it. Say, reason to turn against Paul ain't too hard to find. and Wade to come with us. To San Francisco? Yeah. Mm. Heard you were going hunting. Thought you could use a repeater. You couldn't hit a buck with that antique. Damn Yankee rifle? 16 shooter? Mighty sweet of you. That three penny hang fell. You reckon he's the one who sent Joe's letter? The hell kind of cartridge is this? 44 Empire. I can't say I thought of that much. Is that his place I saw a few miles west of here? Three penny Hank's been living by himself on a dying farm for more years than I can count. Makes a man go crazy. I've been thinking on something. You plow that land out there, plant it right, mm -hmm. this farm could really be something. You don't think Joe tried that? It's a fine piece of land y'all got here. We're selling the farm. What if it is help you need? I could stay on the stretch, bear some of the burden. Yeah. Well, that is a shame. The decision's been made. Sure, a little sunshine. Decisions made. Penny Hank? I don't take kindly to that name, mister. Give it here. I ain't a young man no more. Well, Sergeant Major McCurry, I swan. Wasn't sure there was going to be a body on the other end of this. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Sergeant Major. A real pleasure. It's Wade. You ain't trying to pull one on me now, are you? Joe didn't say nothing. Hell no, he did not. I can see it, though. You got your father's eyes. Well, come on in. It's hot as a whorehouse on nickel night. 
we can deal a few hands, see if you got your father's luck, too. Joe, he ain't wanting to change his mind. One hand. I ain't had a visitor since your pa was killed. Well, I reckon you better take that up with his horse. Hold on just one minute. I ain't no soaker, but we respect the dead before we speak on them. Here's to you, Joe. Turns out I was right. You were a lying son of a bitch. You will be missed. Joe. You mustn't think much of me. Can't say I've made much of an opinion. No. But I know a lot of folks who don't. Crazy old coot. Couldn't grow mushrooms on manure. But I'm a hell of a good farmer. Just ain't much water. Not around these parts, anyway. The letter. Hold your horses, son. We're talking water here. My family stead. It's the only place that has it. I can see you are the observant kind. What ain't so obvious is that there's copper plenty around here. And if the mining company come here. If the mining companies ain't got no water to work their claims, well then that ore ain't ever seen the light of day. They need Joe's land. And they sent some good for nothing carpetbagger named Elaine to make sure they get it. Just because a man's under fire doesn't mean he can't be snake bit. If and it was an accident, how come the coffin was closed? An awful big charge you're making. Well, he weren't scalped by no patchy. He was thrown by a horse. Ain't no reason not to let us say our last respects unless... Unless he weren't thrown by no horse. And the law? They had nothing to say about this? There ain't no law around here. You know, Joe never said more than two words about you. But I wager I can guess why he told folks that you was dead, Sergeant Major. Hell, he must have been in it bad if he felt you were the one that he had to call out to. Because like you said, Joe ain't one to change his mind. Were you present when Joe died? So you've been by three penny Hanks place? You don't take too kindly that name. Nobody take too kindly to him either. You mentioned a fellow by the name of Lane. Came to Joe's funeral? Mr. Lane's the buyer. He killed Joe? Nobody killed him. He was thrown by a horse. Ain't that what killed me? So you're saying I'm a liar? This Lane, did he threaten you? I don't want this land, Wade. The only reason we stayed so long is Pa wouldn't have survived out here on his own. Hank seems to be doing just fine. This place, it will kill me. Sure as it did our mall. Joe threatened if I ever came home, he'd kill me. And there he goes. Writing me a letter, asking me back. Does that sound like the pride-stricken man that raised us up? Nobody killed him. I reckon I don't know how you can be so sure. Ask 
killing you with your only family. Will you please leave it alone? Ain't no reason to be scared, little sunshine. I will strike down anyone who tries to run this here family. Howdy. Ain't no heck brought on any hands. Howdy. Don't be bothering to dismount. I did not believe we had the pleasure of an acquaintance. You're E.J. Lane, banker and killer. I'm gonna bring you for a judge for what you've done. Wait! You, you let him go there ain't a judge for a three-day ride from here. It's quite the impertinent way to treat a guest. I do apologize, Mr. Lane, we had a... Move. I'd appreciate it if you get my horse. She ain't to be ordered about. Wait, is it? I'd be glad to know what I'm being accused of. Didn't figure you one for games. Wait. Well, you know that a crime, whatever it may be, requires evidence. So please, present yours. Moving, yet meaningless. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I've been known for trying to put reason to accident in my time. I have a sale to attend to. So you can either shoot me in the back like a coward or let me be on my way. You know, I ain't got no choice. See, you've made an offer for this glass. But this glass is full of whiskey. What you're trying to do is buy this glass and get the whiskey for free. Why don't you take that whiskey, pour it right back in that bottle. <laughs> I'm making a fair counter here. It is a thousand dollars. Seven fifty for all my acres, two fifty for everything on it. It's your property. Imagine you'd want to say in its fate. Hell of an imagination. You got a deal? On behalf of Mr. Moore, Mr. Cronin, and Mr. Buck. Thank you kindly.
I was invited here on business. You just hold on a minute here. I'm gonna see you home. Innocent men have nothing to fear from the law. Where's the nearest judge? No reason to fear, little sunshine. He ain't gonna hurt you. Judge Hawkins. In Alameda. Three, three day ride from here. Get up. I know, boy. Drop on. No, no, I will talk to you. The only thing he's gonna listen to is a bullet. No, he will listen to me. And what has he done to make you think a crazy notion like that? What kid? God damn it, Martha! He dug up your father! You stop right there, Wade Bakari. How's that one? The faster we get done with this nonsense, the better. You best not try anything. I have been trying to leave this place for going on four years now. First of all, I got sick, and Pa needed me to stay, and now you. You're asking I let him go. I'm asking you to let me be rid of this place for good. That world you want to go out into wouldn't be a place fit living. Not without the law. It would be better. farm Wade. You and me and Heck will, will go to San Francisco as a family. I was hoping on coming back this way. If you'll have me. You do this, you're betraying the only kin you got left. You sound like Paul. I am nothing like him. Why'd he tell us you were dead? Thinking about the past. No. No, it isn't. He tried to stop me from leaving, just like you're doing now. The words he said to me aren't words you forget. Right out of here. You ain't my son. You're a goddamn traitor. And if our boys don't kill you, I will. Where are you going? I reckon you know. No, I need to hear you say the word. I was going to join the Union Army to fight for my country. Where are you at Sharpsburg? No. Chickamauga. What about Chickamauga?
can't ride for three days without any sleep. I ain't telling you not to. I'll fall off. And you'll pick yourself right back up again. Oh. I didn't kill your father. That's for a judge to decide. Yeah? You know you're on old man Race's land. Suppose he was the one doing the shooting at me. I'm real lucky I was coming after you. That's so. Yep. Is that your blood? Don't see no one else around. We well, best get up on out of there so we can see you bandaged up. That be sixteen. Didn't figure you won for a coward. Ain't got no water, and you are bleeding something fierce. It's a mighty hard way to go. I figure that's about what to do, a damn Yankee. Thanks for this here repeater. There's a mite step finer in that infield. You must have had a hell of a time bushwhacking Joe with that old thing. Can't say I'd rather know. Martha is one hell of a shot, though.
no such thing. It's not for a goddamn Yankee traitor. Nobody ought to have to die slow. Mr. Lane, I, I do apologize for what you've been through. I, it's been hard for all of us, but... problem nine hundred dollars there on account of your troubles you listen here you still want to sell this place and you still want to buy it so you best make up your mind because we don't got all day Barely a hundred dollars in there. It's two hundred, actually. My husband saved your life. From what? A three-day ride? A visit with Judge Hawkins? Do we have an agreement? Bullshit, we do. Two hundred dollars is more than enough to get you to. Where was it? San Francisco, I believe. And do what once we get there? That, my dear, is up to you. I'm a businessman. Not a fool. Now that ain't no way to treat your host. Isn't that right, Martha? Break most men. What if it don't? 
That made me stubborn. Joe was stubborn, too. I told you no. That's the thing about killing. You open that door, there ain't telling how many are gonna go through. They won't last the winter here. Not with what we got. That lane, we got nothing. I'll stay out here. Uncivilized. Martha keeps a clean house. She's gonna be keeping a lot longer if you kill me. <laughs> nah. What was it you said? Two hundred dollars more than enough to get to San Francisco. I could have gone to the law. <laughs> you honestly trying to threaten me? Negotiate, actually. I think maybe you don't know the difference. Heck! We talked on this! Yeah. You best stand clear. He is a man of business. He did not ride out all this way to leave empty handed. I'd let you know about your husband here. No, he rode with William Quantrell. Bloody Bill Anderson. He burnt Lawrence, Kansas to the ground. Killing women and children. And when there was no war to satisfy his lust for violence, he took up with Archie Clinton. Killed a deputy in Missouri before he escaped west. I know who I do business with, Miss Kirk. And I know who I married, Mr. Lane. He can't that man no more. Isn't he? $900 in. I think that'd be acceptable to me. All right, then. Let's go back to the house and make it official. Take your hands off of me. Ain't no time to get all worked up. No time. He agreed to the deal. You had no call to shoot him. If I hadn't a shot of me to gone straight to the law. You had a deal? There's always a better deal. Two hundred dollars is no deal at all. What about the law folks? are gonna notice Lane's gone missing. Don't be too busy hunting Apache.
what in the world? What's the matter, boy? Is it heavy? Martha! Martha! Open up now, you hear? Give me probate if that's all you got. I'll lend you my best bear once you're strong enough to ride her. Don't make me no horse thief. You figure Heck killed Joe? You sure as hell shot me. I'll get my double barrel. Damn it, Hank! I don't want you with me. Joe was my friend. He's my Paul. Yeah? And which one of us you reckon knew him better? Martha. She's the one that's supposed to have done it. Hell, they was always fighting, but still, what you gonna do? That's a family matter. for you to ride on out of here. Well, look at you. Just to the forlorn and family, you make me a promise. You're pretty as a hummingbird. Still are. Don't you start with me, at Kirkland. You scalped a man. Well, Thing about getting hitched. We learn about each other. And you do things for each other. Is that Lane? How much? Ain't rightly counted yet. A lot. Should have negotiated better. I figure that is more than enough to get us that hotel in San Francisco. Who are you at Kirkland? I'm the man. Just give you your dream. Leave them. We'll buy new china. Nicer ones, too. Nicer means there won't be no memories. Yeah, well, Apache wouldn't want no cups. Sure would like these furs, though. 
plan on living like a savage. But well, we best leave like one if we don't want no posse coming after us. Did you kill Paul? Look at what you did to him. He left. My whole family died because of it. You killed my husband. You killed your little brother. It was nobody here to look out for them. You Billy was on the other side. You trapped me away, McCurry! Paul would never have brought us to this awful place if it weren't for you! <laughs> and you killed him for it. I did what needed to be done. Before judge. Martha.
Let's just stand clear. You know I can't. All you got to do is put one foot in front of the other. Don't, that's too much to ask my only kin. This thing is for the law to decide. What law? I don't see nothing around here. The world don't work that way, little sunshine. We gotta face our responsibility. You were more of a father to me than Pa ever was. There ain't no running from what we've done. We'll draw then. Pull that trigger. You're gonna have to shoot me straight. Draw, goddammit! I should have never left you. Thank you.